Okay, so I just woke up and I'm about to start my shift. So I'm gonna take you through what I do in a day working at a hostel. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen now eating some breakfast and then I go to the um, one of the permanent workers that works in the morning, um, in the early morning. And so I go to her and I say, what have you not finished yet? And then I help her finish it and just take care of the guests. So um, I'm gonna take you through that today. <laughs> <laughs> Um, part of my job is to interact and socialize with the guests, and um, so I'm kind of forced to socialize with this one right here. James, hello. say hello. hello. <laughs> James, where are you from? I'm from Scotland. I don't know really know how to describe myself like this. Uh, How's your week been? What, what is uh, something exciting that's happened this week to you? My week's not been too good. I really enjoyed spending up until the point where I, I lost my first set of keys <laughs> from the hostel. They own it and I was not too happy. <laughs> and then the second, I then got new keys and then put them in my wallet and then had my wallet stolen. It's not been a great week. He's had a very yeah. interesting week and uh, he's been at the hostel for like two weeks now, so um, he's one of our permanent residents now. Um, long term. Long term. <laughs> a long term resident, yeah. but uh, we have fun, so that's all that matters. Okay, so my first task I've been sent to do is to um, clean and do the beds of one of our private rooms. Um, so I'm in the private room, it's all dirty, and I have to clean it all. There's actually a bathroom and kitchen as well, so I have to clean that. And then make the bed and, um, yeah, clean the floors and everything. So that's what I'm about to do. Now it's time to clean the bathroom and the kitchen, my favorite part. Point of view, you are the dirty bathroom floor on the hostel that I'm currently cleaning so that I can travel on a budget and not have to spend a lot of money. <laughs> no, it really, um, you know, it's not the most elegant uh, of jobs that I have cleaning bathrooms and making beds in a hostel, but um, it is so worth it. I have met some of the most amazing people in the time I've been here, uh, just to the guests and people who are coming in and out. So, you know, it's not the fanciest job in the world, uh, but it makes me happy because I don't feel like I'm working because I'm meeting so many people every day, um, having great conversation and just a good time. So I would clean the dirtiest of bathrooms to have this experience. So um, yeah, I love work away and the opportunities it gives me. Um, so I'm more than happy to dedicate, you know, four or five, six hours a day, five days a week working when, you know, in return I get these amazing uh, life-changing experiences. So. I will go continue on cleaning the bathroom. Oh, look at her, look at her, look at her. She's all clean, all clean. Oh. Okay, now that I'm all done, I'm about to go on to the dormitory room, which is the room that has um, six beds. So I'm gonna change some of the beds and the bunk beds. Super fun um, aerobic exercise for me. I'm trying not to wake people up who are already sleeping in the room and changing the beds on the top bunk. It's super fun, but um, yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm literally sweating right now because um, I woke up to do my shift and the first thing I hear is that we're overbooked and all the people who thought they'd be able to stay another night, like book an extra night today, had to be kicked out. Not kicked out, they had to move. And even our volunteers who were sleeping in the dorms had to get out of their beds this morning because we had to make the beds for more guests to come because there was a mistake made. So uh, this is just an example of the chaos that happens at this hostel sometimes. If I'm being honest, it's a small hostel and it's like the organization is not like very modern and efficient sometimes so things like this happen and I'm stuck running around like a chicken with its head cut off trying to make all the beds in the hostel and uh, trying to help all the people who are without a bed for tonight uh, because they thought they'd be able to stay another night so um, yeah it's going great <laughs> <laughs> today's his birthday so we're having a party Hola, ¿qué tal? Say, today's Acá. my birthday Today, ah, qué boludo. Today is my birthday. 
<laughs> es más, es piu, piu verde. He can't say the word birthday, so he's kind of self-conscious about saying it, but, um... So I just finished cleaning and making the beds, and I'm in the office now with the Excel sheet waiting for guests to come in so I can do check-in. So the morning shift, that is usually 11 to 6, um, and then we have another shift from 6 to 11. Um, the morning shift primarily consists of cleaning, making beds, and then after that is done, um, I just spend the rest of the day uh, hanging out, waiting for people to check in, and making sure like the bathrooms are stocked and the kitchen is clean. Um, so that's what I will be doing for the rest of my shift. We have a lot of check-ins today, so um, it's going to be busy, but as for right now, I'm just sitting around waiting. The craziest thing just happened. I was like sitting down at the desk and this girl comes in and like I look at her and she has her mask on. I was like, she kind of looks familiar. And she looks like, she, she says to me, she goes, you look familiar, do I know you? And I was like, wait, are you Amy? And she's like, wait, are you Allie? And I was like, what? This girl is from Charlotte, North Carolina of all places in the world to end up meeting this this girl. Uh, we like have mutual friends and we've always like known of each other. And so it was just super freaking crazy that she's at my hostel right now. And so it's just really cool, really weird. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd tell you that. I usually just go um, try to get my exercise in and my exploring in at the same time. So I just like to go on long walks around the city because it is just the most adorable city ever. There's so many things everywhere you look. You're like, oh my God, it's so cute. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's a beautiful panoramic view. So um, I just stumbled across this cute little street of residential area and I just wanted to show you just to show you how freaking cute it is. And then a beautiful panoramic view of the city. Okay, so I was just walking home uh, to the hostel and I passed past my favorite sweet store. This sweet man, Didi Hola. Hola. Where are you from? Morocco. Morocco, and he makes these amazing sweets right here. And every time I stop by, I buy a sweet and he offers me some Arabic tea. So uh, my favorite part of my afternoon. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, so I have this chocolate and almond cookie and it is just delicious. I plan on just getting one, but I'm ending up going to get two and a tea. So I mean, oh well. Mm. Okay, I'm here with, como se llama? Matias. Where are you from, Matias? Italia, from Torino. <laughs> uh, what do we do here at Hostel Cascabel? Like you, I'm a volunteer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, one of the other volunteers that I am with. Also, Gerard, di ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> We're three volunteers right now, and um, yeah, just other people who are working at the hostel with me. So we're just hanging out on the terrace right now. He's actually Ciao. leaving tomorrow. Yeah. Eh, si. Eh, si. But um, yeah, we've From been. No, moment. No. Eh, triste. Um, but yeah, we've been together for the past few weeks, and um, I'm leaving in a week, but we're just hanging out on the terrace. Ciao. Una, dos, and three. Good. Good. Ah, también hay un... Ah, también hay otro lado. Y más al otro lado. ¡Vuelta! ¡Una vuelta! ¡Una vuelta! ¡Oh!